Well, state champs, uh, how are you feeling right now? Tired. I'm tired. It's been a long season, but I'm so elated for these guys. Uh, these guys have really bought into to what we've been doing. I mean, we always go around with the, the mantra of unfinished business, and these guys stay to the course. They stay focused on the task at hand until we got it done. Business is now finished. We did what we were supposed to do, took care of the little things, and I can't speak enough of those guys. Those guys are high character guys, great kids. In this day and age, you find a lot of kids that's mischievous and doing different things. I am truly, truly blessed to have these young men a part of my team. I would imagine that unfinished business started, you know, at the Final Four last year. No, it really it actually started, yeah, it did. Actually started in the regionals, uh, the, re the regionals the previous year. I mean, we were 10th graders. Unfinished business, we started that because we felt like we lost, we left something on the floor. And they've been hollering that since day one, I mean, since after that game. Unfinished business, unfinished business. That's what we've been hanging our hats on. And, and we just took it as just a business trip. We Other kids, I mean, other teams, I can't speak for them, but I felt like they were just happy to be here. We were here to take over because we know we had some unfinished business left to do, and uh, the guys did what they had to do. How big is this win for the Winona High School community, you know, losing Coach Bell in the midst of all this, for you guys to come here and, and bring a state championship to the school? It's huge. It's huge for the, for the community. Also for our principal, we have a new principal, Dr. Willie Goldsmith, who has really, really showed us how, you know, he put his arms around us and showed us uh, that he really cares about us. The previous administration, Miss uh, Miss Regina Carr Hope, did an excellent job with us as well. But uh, losing a pioneer, uh, uh, a man like Coach Bell, it, it really hurt. Uh, but these kids have lost a lot over these past four years. They've lost friends, they've lost uh, loved ones, and all this. And we just we just rallied behind them and made sure that we take care of business for them. And that's that's been their angel for them. So I think all of them looking down on us, smiling right about now. It was pretty much emotional on the bench there at, at the end. Kind of, kind of, you talk about what these seniors have meant to you. See, we all well, we came in together. Uh, my first year, I kind of got it kind of late in the school year, right before school starts, so I really didn't have a chance to really build a team. Uh, then next year, these guys came, but they were all freshmen, so we just went through the rigors together. First year, 15 and 15 as freshmen. Second year, 21 and 11. Third year, 28 and 7. This year, 31 and 5. So you see, it's been a progression the whole time, and just. Thinking of the long haul that we've been through, I mean, we've been we've been through so much together, and if those of that who play sports, you know how tight a brotherhood can be in a gym, you know, hotel rooms, locker rooms. You think about all those things, all the personal issues, foolishness. I, I look forward to all that, and I know this. I'm losing those five seniors, but it was a, it was a good thing. It was I was really pleased. You guys are obviously five A state champs, but where where do you feel like you guys? You guys can play with anybody. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, well, since the season, no, yes, we can. Uh, we, we can play with anybody. We've played the Mountain Brooks, and no disrespect to them, but we beat them. We supposed to went back over there and played, but the, the untimely death of Coach Bell. Um, but I think we, if not the best team in all classifications, we played everybody. We played the Hoovers. We played our town, the Olive Branches, and different people like that. So we haven't just played a local talent. I think we only had one in-state loss, and that was to Fairfield. We lost to Fairfield in their gym, which anybody knows is difficult, very difficult to win in Fairfield's gym. But um, it's just a testament to these guys and how they how they how they prepare and how they you know compete. And I feel like we we are we could be we are the best team in the state, regardless of classification. Thank you.